Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 8th of January 2019. Yeah, the new year is still fresh, but we have a few interesting news to talk about that happened last week. First of all, we have the independent bottler Murray McDavid, and he introduced a new mystery malt called Jorna Loin. And you can read more about that on whiskey.com, but basically it's a, a whiskey 20 years of age, not colored, not chill filtered, and they're not saying from which distillery, but it is from the space side. Yeah, they give you a few hints, you can read them up on whiskey.com, so you can basically find out what distillery it is, but um, they are not allowed to tell you. And then we have the um, Glentura Distillery that was set to be sold and now it is finalized. The trade is complete and the Swiss uh, company Art & Tueur has finally bought Glentura. The company is pretty yeah, premium, pretty uh, expensive and everything. So we can expect a price rise of Glenturit and also Glenturit going more into the premium sector. So probably they're gonna invest, make it more premium and then probably rise prices. Next up, we have a new festival in the Highlands. And when I say Highlands, I mean like Northern Highlands because it's north of Inverness on the North Coast 500, a very special route in the Northern Highlands. And we have eight distilleries on that route celebrating a festival. It is uh, said to be uh, organized in May 2019 for the first time. So if you happen to be in that area, you have to make sure to go there because it's probably gonna be really fun. Then we have a new distillery. I think I've talked about them already. Um, they did a crowdfunding for the Bar or the Barra distillery on the Outer Hebrides. And I don't think it was successful, but now they went into a second round and they already got the, the ground, they bought the ground and they have all the paperwork done. So they are ready to build. But this time it's actually being owned by the community on that island. So it's a, kind of a, a government distillery now. Yeah. Um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out if they are being able to build the distillery well and sell the whiskey or make the whiskey well, first of all. So um, stay tuned, I will keep you updated. Next up, we have another crowdfunded distillery that is actually releasing their whiskey now. So it is possible to sell your whiskey, whiskey or build your whiskey distillery with crowdfunding. The Cutworth Distillery uh, was one of these crowdfunded distilleries and now they're releasing their first Founders Choice. Um, it is 60.9% uh, ABV, not colored, not chill filtered, three years old and I'm not quite sure how it is international available, but I think it is probably available very well because um, you can buy that in Germany during this week now. Yeah. And last but not least, we have some news from the Americans and they're really American news because the Dutch bourbon whiskey is actually honoring the Predator film. Yeah, the Predator film from, I think it was in the 90s with Arnold Schwarzenegger and they made a homage to that film and you have that bottle with the helicopter in it, on it for the special forces and there's that famous phrase, get to the chopper uh, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's, it's a really a fun bottle. I'm not sure how premium or how good the content of this bottle is, but it's a really fun bottle. And that's what the American whiskey is mostly about. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching and see you next week.